before the predicted seasonal storms hit, you could protect your trees and shrubs from damage with a regular tree maintenance schedule. Professional pruning at the appropriate times can eliminate dead branches from becoming missiles in heavy winds or prevent a cluttered mess of a plant from getting top heavy and prone to breakage. This poor thing, their large shrub or a small tree, was allowed to grow into a tangle over the years. Sure, it seemed to do fine, even thrive on its own, but it grew into a gargantuan ball of confusion of branches and trunks, and when the rare early snowstorm hit this area in October, this poor tree was overloaded with leaves and branches and snow. It collapsed sometime during the night, breaking or tearing most of its major branches, and now here it is. As dreadful as it may appear, it's possible that with very select pruning, this tree could be restored. It'll certainly not be restored to its prior condition, but it could be kept as a much smaller version of itself. But before you start fanning your red-handled pruning tools like a turbocharged fireplace bellows, you need to assess the root zone of the tree. There's no sense in spending a lot of time pruning and restoring the above ground part if the below ground part has been destroyed. Take a close look at the ground around the trunk flare in the root zone. Look for cracks in the soil that might indicate underground root severing. Look for actual roots sticking out of the soil. If you see more than 30% of the tree roots uprooted or broken, you might have to give up hope of restoring the tree. If you think the root zone haven't, hasn't been disturbed, check the branches and remaining trunk structure for cracks and breaks. If branches have been broken outside of the branch collar, then cut them back to the closest lateral branch that on a good day would resume dominance and start growing outward to replace the lost branch end. But if a branch is torn down into the branch collar, that's a very drastic wound to this tree and will likely cause more harm if left untreated. Tackling a restoration pruning job like this will require some technical knowledge about wood fibers and regenerative growth. If you're at all unsure of what to do or where to start, contact a qualified tree professional in your area. They have the knowledge to restore your plants to at least a shadow of their formal selves, and tree professionals also have the equipment needed to cut up and remove all the mess that's left on the ground. To find a tree care professional in your area, go to treecaretips.org. certified master arborist and certified tree safety professional to drag the brush because that's what we're paid for.